I'm gonna start off doing a side series. It's like a um, it's it's a course that gets you from the first step to the end step of creating a third-person adventure game. Anyway, so I open up Blender, which is my program of choice, which we're going to be using. Um, you can use 3DX, 3DS Max, um, Unity, whatever you really want, but this appeals to Blender. So anyway, so I have version 2.63, which is um. I believe it's the newest one. Um, don't really know about that, but it, it's a it's a new one. I got it a couple of days ago. Um, here you go. So um, yeah, right here I've got the screencast key, so you know what I'm pressing. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so anyway, I usually set it so locked cursor for um for the thingy, so it can go around the um. Woo! So you set um, Shift S to go to cursor center. So you're ready to go. Um, first of all, we'll be setting up the main character, which is um. Right now, I can just make it a cube, I guess. Good old cube. Um, chuck him up here a bit. Um, we give a plane, which is just a four-sided square object. So you have a little place to roam around in. Um, if you go here, make that your starting point, I guess. Um, go Shift S to go to cursor to selected because I'm selected on the object. So now it's completely reliant on this. Um, <coughs> yeah. So now we'll set up the logic. Wait. Yeah. Set up logic. Um, go to physics settings right here. Um, you hit. Oh yeah. Um, First of all, you gotta go into Blender Game, which is pretty well needed. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a dynamic sort of third-person realistic adventure game, which is my favorite game. So I thought I'd try and make it. Um, add sensor. Hit a keyboard. Hit um, W key. So you just go add actuator. You find motion. Um, you find what axis it's on. So right here is the X axis. So if you go here. It'd be going the negative x because it's going that way. So woo to go forwards. So negative x maybe 20. Hit that and then you go bam. And where is it? What the hell? No. <laughs> oh yes, we've got to add. Got to hit it textured. Um, we need a sort of lamp object. So we hit a point object. A point lamp. I'm um, sorry. So if you just go here, yeah, it's already beginning to take shape I guess actually. Oh, where is it? Yeah, and just come up here maybe. Sit down just so I can have a sort of thingy majiggy. Um <laughs> if you give it light NG, make the distance pretty far. And just so you know where you are in the game. You're a pretty beige looking game right now. Um so you know if you go if you go back here press P, and you press W, woo, we go forwards, because the logic is set up for this, so that when you press W, it goes to a controller, which is just and, so W, and minus 20X, because the X axis is that way, and you get that way, anyway, I'm going to proceed and make it so that you have another four, or three, I mean, um, for each side, so that you're basically setting up back, forward, right, and left controls. Um, no, not parent. Mm. Um, you do forward twenty um, to go backwards. Um, so that would generally be S K. So W A S D controls. Um, this is just my way. Remember, you, the main thing about this is experimentation. So don't feel limited to what I'm doing. Or else I'll have to kill you. <laughs> but yeah, um, hit that and then woo! And yeah, um, forward 20, I think. So you go W key, D key, A key, and S key. 
Hey. And because I set up the dy the dynamic controls in the um, the physics panel, if you fall off the edge, oh, where do you go? Oh, oh, okay, I'm dead. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> so we've got that general idea set up for the game. Um, now we would probably want to set up a camera. So if we go to camera, add camera. Um, so selected, up here, maybe here. Woo. Check me out over here. Um, so you get a pretty good go over here. Maybe there. Um, I hit Shift F, which makes you be able to fly around. Kind of. I have no idea where I am, so I have to look for the. Ooh, okay. This is just my way of doing it because I'm just awesome like that. Um, is it the focal length? It's about. If I set it far back, this is also a good filmmaking thing. If you um, you get a bigger background if you set the focal length smaller and move closer to it. Um, let's so figure about there. It'd be better than going like really close and really far away because you get a more flat image, but you get a more dynamic look if you do that. Focal length closer maybe. Um, this is just my way of doing things. Um. So there you hear, and you woo, but it's not following. So what I have to do is um give the depth of field to cube because I'm awesome. Um, yeah. Um, you hit the object panel. Um, you go to motion paths. No, you do not actually. Shut up, Callum. Where am I going? You parent the camera to the cube. And... Slow parent, here we go. Relation extras. Because they changed it from the update, so I don't really know what the fuck is going on. Um, so if I send it back to where it was before, because it's been naughty boy. Um, I go over here. And then I go bam. So now I've got this general camera thingy. Go back a little bit, go up a little bit. So yeah, this is generally that. Just it's not very much of a slow parent, and it's kind of stupid. I might just add a few dynamic objects in here to show what I'm doing, to show where everything is more. Um, make that dynamic. Oh, it's dynamic. Yeah, there. Um, crystal selected. And I shift D to duplicate. Let's go random places, I guess, just to show that I'm moving and I am in real-time space. And because of spatial relations, I should be able to knock these things over. That's a lot, actually. Um, oh, they're really high. Um, so I go here. Oh, they fell over. So I can knock them away for some reason. I can't. Oh yeah, because that's of the. We have to set up the collision bounds as well. So we make it. Create obstacle as well. So now I should have a bigger bounds, and this isn't looking very real time. So hit the gravity up to about 50 maybe. So now it looks a bit more realistic. Gives real object seemingness, realism. <coughs> and um, these cubes actually I'm going to kill all of them apart from one because I've got to set up the collision bounds for it. So yeah, with with games creation, it's really just trial and error. Um, Naughty boy, get back there! Um, no, I said die, die, die. Um, yeah, it's really just do what seems best, really. Now that's terrible. Oh, where do you go? What? What are you doing? Hey, had a boy. Now I do that. Okay. Now I think that's good enough. You can you can set them up to different different things, but oh, I swallowed them up. Uh oh. But yeah, I don't know. You set up the radius a bit more, maybe. Should be able to get rid of good. Yow. Yow. What you doing, Dang. I'm gonna swallow you. Then when I go back, I should be able to fall off. We. Okay. Yeah. Enough playing around with this awesome game. Um, 
that's better. Um, the collisions aren't very good with Blender, but that's really just how you do it. Because there are lots of ways you can do this. Um, in later lessons, I shall teach you how to do AI, which stands for Artificial Intelligence. Um, it's not the easiest thing to do because it involves scripting, but yeah. Anyway, now I've set up controls for this object here, so that now, when I press E, Q and E maybe, um, I shall rotate left and right. Go to find where I am, the Y axis, so if I, I want to rotate in the Y axis, I go minus, which turns me that way. Q. Bam. 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 Then, bam. And then when I hit Q, I should be able to... Oh, okay, that's not right. Lol. Again, it's just toying with what you're doing. And that's my way. So I do that. And then, should be able to... Wee, wee. Wee wee and you get a better control system, y'all. So yeah. After this I'll have to wrap it up so I can go to bed because it's eleven at night. Because I'm a good boy. Goodbye. Um actually no, I'll probably do a second tutorial so I can get it over with. Um anyway. <coughs> I have all these rotations and motions and all of these yummy stuff. So now you can rotate. Oh, look where am I? Ooh, look, woo. So now you can just go around. It's looking more like a driving game, but... Who ever said driving games are bad? Um, yeah, I might teach you how to do a mouse look script, but... Oh, Jesus. Oh, um, yeah. It isn't the easiest at all, because there's a lot of scripting involved. <coughs> And the best way is to really just download someone else's script. <laughs> but if you're honest like me, you will probably try and make your own and then fail a lot. But then there is the satisfaction of doing it. Anyway, I shall teach you how to texture and model and animate in the next lessons and do more logic setups so you can shoot, you can walk, you can animate, anything else. If you have any inquiries, just tell me what you want. <laughs> Goodbye, my children.